Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Scriptures for Life. I don't know if you're like me, but 2020 has just been one year for the record books. I wake up just about every morning and want to pinch myself because I want it to be a dream. I just want it to be over. I want it to be a year that I can forget. Every day seems like new fears are coming our way. New doubts, new things that I just want to move along and move away from. I will say, if you get on social media at all, the memes for this year have been great and hilarious. But even with that, it has been a year that I know many of us will always remember, but also want to forget. As humans, we are prone to and will always have some sort of fear in our life. However, today with our scripture, I'm encouraged because as we continue to look at our verses that we've been looking at, the one for today comes from the first book of John, chapter 4, um, verse 18, and it says this, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection, but love. In thinking about the scripture, I think actually back to the Gospels. And if you remember, um, in the Gospels, we have a story of Peter. And Peter, along with all the disciples, they were on a boat, and the waves were coming up, and all of a sudden, they were in the storm, and they were very fearful. And they looked out and they saw what they thought was a ghost and it was actually Jesus. Well, as the story goes, Peter ends up attempting, right, to walk on water. Well, Peter does walk on water. He takes a couple of steps, but as he looks around him, he sinks. He begins to fall down into the water. I think about our own lives right now. We're in our own storms. We're in a very fearful time in our life. But yet, when I think about our scripture for today, perfect love, the perfect love that God gives us each and every day, when we lean into that perfect love, our fears and our doubts, they're cast away from us and they're cast onto our Savior. They're cast onto our Messiah so that we do not have to burden ourselves with that, our own. That's amazing for me. And I think that if possibly Peter had not, if he had kept his eyes on Jesus, potentially, if he had put everything he had on Christ and not doubted, he might have walked all the way to Jesus. I don't know. We don't know. I mean, we, we know what the end of the story is, but potentially that could have happened. So I think about for us in our own day, when we put all of the love that Christ gives us, if we love him with everything that we have, yes, we're going to continue to have fears and doubts. That's our human nature. As humans, we will continue to fear. We'll continue to doubt. Things will continue to happen in our world. Storms around us will continue to happen. But the great thing is that we have a risen Savior that does not want us to have to burden ourselves with that on our own. Christ is standing before you right now with open arms wanting to take those burdens away from you. So I want to encourage you today to give all of that fear, all of that doubt, all of that worry to Him. In perfect love, it casts Fear away. Perfect love enables us to live our lives for him. So that's what's encouraging for me today. Yes, 2020 may continue to be a year that we will never forget. But guess what, friends? It's a year that we will not have to live alone. We will live it with Jesus. We will live it with a community of believers that we have lived it with already. And we will continue to do that each and every day. I hope and pray that this has been 
uplifting for you. It's been uplifting for me. And I pray that today in your prayer time that you will ask God to give you and continue to give you that perfect love so that you can live without fear, without doubt, and without worry. Amen.